All right, back on the C10 or C15, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna do the world's cheapest paint job on this thing. Well, not really the world's cheapest paint job, but we're not gonna do body work. We're just gonna sand it, mask what we can off, and spray it. Do epoxy and then a uh, single stage. Um, yeah, this thing's got some work to do, even though we're not gonna do a whole lot to it. This thing's got a bitchin' sound system in it. You ready for it? Oh, yeah. Dude, the home speakers? Hell yeah. This, uh, really glad the seat wasn't bolted in because this makes my life a lot easier. I'm gonna get on to taking the seat out, taking those beautiful speakers out of the truck blowing off all the debris and dirt and dirt daubers nests and then uh, snappy, we'll start you? sanding I think it sat for a minute in the swamp. Okay, so we got the entire cab 320DA. Like I said, not doing any body work. You know, rockers are Swiss cheese, but overall the truck actually came out really nice. I went ahead and went overboard and scuffed the inside of the jams. That way when you open the doors, it's all one color. Roof's all sanded, 320. This side, the truck's been painted once. So sometime in its life, it's had a paint job on it. You can see baby blue, you can see that rusty lacquer primer, and then you can see baby blue underneath it again. Um, I haven't found body filler. So it must have just been like a faded paint job and they just had it resprayed. But it doesn't look bad. Uh, truck's actually pretty straight. Again, sand of the jams. Again, not pretty. But I think it's actually going to turn out a little bit better than we originally thought. Now it's time to go on to 400 to get some of these 320 scratches out. And uh, that's going to be our final sand for this truck. Really, I should go to 600 uh, with a metallic color, but we're just gonna go 400 and see how it looks. I mean, the goal is to have it like a 20 footer. So if it looks decent on the highway or 20 feet in a parking lot, then 
it's good enough. But this is definitely not a super high-end paint job. This is about as low buck as you can go without literally just scuffing and spraying. Um, not bad though. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy about how it's coming out. Got it all masked up. We're replacing the back window and the front windshield, so I'm not worried about that. Got the trip rail, door handles, door jam. I'm gonna throw some plastic over the front and then we will start mixing primer. Doesn't look half bad. Okay, we used some wax and grease remover put on and wiped off and we ran the tack rag over the whole truck just trying to get all the dirt and debris off of it and you can see that there's there's still a good bit of uh, trash on the truck we'll wipe it down a couple more times and then uh, mix up the primer and this thing's ready to shoot I'm not sure if the single stage is going to be able to fill that hole in but hopefully you won't notice it <laughs> oh this thing's rusty okay we're using the uh, DTM epoxy summit primer again kind of like this stuff so uh, mixed up one to one and I'm gonna try a different gun this time with a smaller tip hopefully this thing sprays a little bit nicer than it did in the 52 race truck um, got a little filter on there because I still have not changed the desiccant out of that filter because I'm lazy. Um, yeah, it's ready to go. So put it in the gun, meet you back over at the truck. I got the gun cleaned out. I'm gonna wait 30 minutes to put the second coat on. But uh, I brought out the old iPod with the little iHome thing. Dude, the jams that are on that iPod, oh, dude, they're all gold. <laughs> I probably had that iPod since like 2012. But uh, yeah, good jams. Primer's laying out real nice. That gun's actually not bad for like a $20 Lowe's gun from like 10 or 12 years ago. Um, yeah, looks good. Roof laid out real nice. Back and sides of the cab, doors laid out real nice. I'm happy with that. side of the truck same thing now I'm just gonna wait 30 minutes put another coat on second coat truck is done DTM epoxy all over the cab door jams look pretty decent I like it I like it a lot tomorrow once it warms up, I'm gonna start throwing down some some color. I haven't told you what the color is, but <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. See where we're going with this? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Got my belly strapped. So my shirt 
done hit the paint. Wipe off the hose one more time. Try to negate some of the trash. Wasn't too much in the, uh, in the primer. What I'm essentially doing is using the epoxy primer as a sealer. And uh, I think I'm gonna spray the first coat super light. Try to fill in some of those bullseyes. And uh, I think it'll turn out pretty good. Orange peel's all right. This side's a little drier. I'm gonna hammer down on it this time. Hopefully not run the shit out of it. But uh, roof turned out great. Back of the cab. Dude, <laughs> this is a color right here. Holy crap. I like it. One more coat. Third and final coat. Hammer down on this one. Looks pretty good. Got some orange peel in it. Got rid of all the dry spray in this door. It's orange peely, but it's shiny. I think there was something wrong with my gun because it was bubbling up air, so I gotta take that gun apart and clean it. Um, overall though, truck came out pretty good, especially for painting it in a barn. Not bad. Doors are a little drier than I wanted them. You can see all the lacquer primer cracks in it. Um, this cowl turned out pretty decent. 
I hammered down trying to use up all the paint. The roof came out pretty decent, but these doors, I should have hammered down a little bit harder on the doors, but I was a little bit afraid that uh, it was gonna run, and I'd rather it be a little dry than have a bunch of runs to cut out. But uh, overall, real slick. You gotta put your mark on the paint job. The cowl's actually slicking out real nice, and the doors, the longer they sit, orange peel's kinda flowing out pretty nice. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. It is purple, as purple gets. Looks actually really good. It's got a bunch of blue in it, if you can see that. Doesn't look too bad. Cal turned out great, there's my fingerprint. Roof. Inside the jams. Don't mind the basketball size hole in the floor. I think what we're gonna do is spray the inside just like flat black or something. That way it doesn't look awful. But not bad. All right, thanks guys for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. We're gonna see you on the next one. Hopefully we're gonna get the engine and trans in it next weekend. And uh, maybe the front clip and bed painted and this thing will be put together. See y'all.